Isaiah chapter 65. I have been sought of them that ask not. I was found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold, behold me unto a nation that called not upon my name. I have spread out mine hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walked in a way that was not good, even after their own imaginations, a people that provoked me ever unto my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon bricks, which remain among the graves and lodge in the deserts, which eat swine's flesh, and the broth of things polluted are in their vessels, which say, Stand apart, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my wrath, and a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will render it and recompense it into their bosom. Their iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers shall be together, saith the Lord, which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their old work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as the wine is found in the cluster and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sakes, that I may not destroy them whole. But I will bring a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, that shall inherit my mountain, and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a sheepfold, and the valley of Achor shall be a resting place for the cattle of my people that have sought me. But ye are they that have forsaken the Lord, and forgotten mine holy mountain, and have prepared a table for the multitude, and furnished the drink offerings unto the number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and all you shall bow down to the slaughter. Because I called, and ye did not answer. I speak, and ye heard not, but did evil in my sight, and did choose that thing which I would not. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, and ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, and ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, and ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, and ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of mind. Ye shall leave your name as a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay you, and call his servants by another name. He that shall bless in the earth shall bless himself in the true God. He that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the true God, for the former troubles are forgotten, and shall surely hide themselves from mine eyes. For lo, I will create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. But be you glad and rejoice forever in the things that I shall create. For behold, I will create Jerusalem as a rejoicing, and her people as a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more there a child of yours, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For he that shall be an hundred years old shall die as a young man, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of the tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall enjoy in old age and the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth in fear, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their buds with them. Yea, before they call, I will answer, and whilst they speak, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and to the serpent dust shall be his meat. They shall no more hurt nor destroy in all mine holy mountain saith the Lord.